we're about halfway through spring right now. Um, like I say, good, bad, indifferent of all of it. Uh, you need to find some more consistency in some things we're doing. But you know, some of the young guys have done a good job getting a lot of reps. Uh, development of players is getting better. Uh, hopefully right down the middle, hopefully you can push through this. I always say that's when you start to get banged and bruised and have a few guys miss here and there for a day or so here and there with pulls and tweaks and turns. And you got to learn to push through that if you can. And, uh, you know, if the injuries allows it. But, uh, you know, getting through that, find out a little more about the guys this week. Third week, generally to me, kind of jump starts where you go. You kind of find out where you're at after the first scrimmage. And some of those guys realizing what they can and can't do themselves. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about them. And then the urgency to go get better. Uh, the last half of spring, the ability to and keep doing the things you're doing well and enhance your, you know, your position and, and, you know, put yourself in a position to be very critical for our team. So you, you develop playing time and all that. And our, you know, our older guys, you know, got to look, as I say, the older veterans that are considered to be our, our players that make plays, got to continue to do that. They have to show up. and. Great teams have great leadership, and, and their great players always play great. You young guys you develop, you bring along, and you know, we'll find out where we're at. So, I mean, the first two weeks were had good, bad, like I say, but not uh, had some good things in the scrimmage, had some guys make some really good plays. Uh, early in the scrimmage, I thought the defense, first defense did a really good job up front. Uh, offense made some mistakes as far as just to miss a block or get off a block and took advantage of some long seat and didn't give up the third downs uh, and got off the field. And then – I uh, thought later on as the, as the scrimmage went, the offense started really making plays and started really doing things. And sometimes it starts like that. But I like seeing both start faster, a little more consistency on both sides in execution. I think we need to be more physical. I think both sides of the ball, we've got to be more physical. We've got to play in space a little bit better, tackle, leverage the football a little bit better on defense. Uh, I'll give up some of the passes and some of the runs that, you know, that happen at times. But offensively, play with much more consistency and learn to eliminate negative plays or – or penalty, had a few pre-snap penalties that were, you know, we don't need to have in that regard. And had a couple penalties on defense that, you know, were grabbed and held in the secondary or the linebacker or something that, you know, would, uh, you know, create a drive. When those penalties, you got to have that discipline in what you do. So we just got to get better across the board, and uh, we'll see where we're at second week, third week, excuse me. Question. I mean, I think both made, all three made plays. And I'll say both, all three made plays. And all three got rotations with ones and twos and, and different groups. Uh, and what we did, uh, like I say, we started off, so I thought the first defense was really good, uh, which kept us all to field. And I thought, is that when as Haynes started really picking it up, started making plays later in that? I thought Max came out and did a really nice job, had some plays. Uh, again, we had a couple mistakes here and there on reads and things. We got to get better. And I thought Connor for his first scrimmage was excellent. I thought he made a lot of plays. And actually got some time with the ones, and actually got time with two. So and I thought he handled both of those situations extremely well. And our two-minute situations, I mean, all guys, that we worked two-minute, we worked red zone, we worked goal line, we worked all kind of things across the board, different situations in the game, a lot of third down stuff. And I thought he handled that very well, too. So but all three guys had some, had some really bright moments and some things they got to work on to stay more consistent and then allow us not to get behind the eight ball. Is that it? Amari ran well. I thought Amari had some really nice runs. I think the thing you worry about Amari, I think Amari does a great job with the ball in his hand. Uh, he was running very well. I think he's got to do a better job too. And I like all backs learning to play without the ball, whether it's pass pro, whether it's lead blocking, whether it's in the route running. I think those things enhance. And then uh, you have uh, Crown Over who did a really nice job. LJ's out right now and has a hamstring. And uh, that's very disappointing because he's missed a lot of spring. It's not his fault. I mean, it's a legit injury. And, and we'll have to get him. Probably we'll miss most of spring uh, the way it goes. And uh, we got to get him healthy because uh, that's going to be very crucial going into the fall. I hate it that he's missing those spring reps. But those guys, from that standpoint, I thought was running the ball solidly, caught the ball okay. And I think that's why I say Amari had some really nice runs. I think he hits the hole well, plays inside out. I uh, thought he did some real nice things. But I think that's learning to be a more complete back and not you know just getting those reps at doing that. I think is very important because you do that in our offense a lot. We know we put a lot on our backs. Not like I want. Honestly, not like I want. We need more leadership. We need more leadership, and that doesn't always have to come from seniors, and I think that's something that we need to enhance on. I think they need to start putting their impression on the team a little bit more in what we do, and not with, again, with enough consistency in our leadership. I think it's not that they're bad, but I think we need more, and I think we need more, more assertive type guys in leadership in what we're trying to do and where we're at. Coach, is there anything in particular you look at differently for your second scrimmage coming up this weekend than maybe 
Well, I mean, can you can you improve on the things? Can you relax? You know, the first scrimmage is not always designed on whether you make a drive or you do something. It's putting guys on defense in a situation they got to play a deep ball in, in the secondary. Or run it a certain guy, see if he can handle it. On offense, certain guys get touches. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what spring is for me as much as it is trying to score or trying to, you know, get three. And they, they, I mean, of course, the players all want that. The defense all wants that. But, I want, you know, me as a, as a coach, how guys I want to see that I challenge and how I challenge them with play calls and things of that nature. So hopefully we can understand that, but I hope that we can get some of the pre-snap things out, execute at a much higher rate, and play with a lot more consistency. And like I say, using your first scrimmage is what happens. Both sides make plays when the other side screws up, which is a part of it too. I mean, that's, that's all, you gotta take advantage of your opportunities. But when you're a good football team, is when you find out when you do it right and they do it right, then guys make plays, guys make runs, guys make blocks. Guys make tackles, guys get off blocks, they make coverage, you know what I mean? They're out there one-on-one on island against a good player and he runs the route right and you cover it right. You know, that's, that's what I'm hoping to see a lot more of the second half of spring. The ones that then a few of them got nicked up and missed and for, we had about six practices under belt and were really doing good, then got nicked and missed the scrimmage, a couple did. But at the same time, the guys who did play, I was very, I, I, I was very pleased with. I mean, guys made plays, uh, had mistakes, of course, but I love they didn't pout, dwell, went to the next play, and, ha and made some big plays on both sides of the ball and what they did. You know, Anthony Lucas jumped out at me up front. I thought he had a really, you know, you got to get better on some things, but there were some plays that really flashed at you, and you saw a lot of his ability. I thought Evan did some of that too, had some mistakes, but at the same time, then he made some plays. But again, Connor, I thought, was – Really, really out, you know, con very consistent for a first scrimmage out there. And I mean, some things he could do well. And at quarterback, you almost always do that. But handling that with the calls and the checks and all the stuff he did, I was very impressed with, with his development in that regard. Uh, I say, un unfortunately, Bryce and uh, uh, I'm sorry. No, Bryce and uh, had had a good had was playing really well and got nicked up going in. You know what I'm saying, Denver. Had the same thing, was playing really well, got nicked up, couldn't couldn't scrimmage. I thought he did a real nice – and I was doing – both those guys I thought were doing a really nice job. Of course, Jeremy Kerr and uh, Dendy have been out because of injuries, you know, coming in. They're, they're going to miss the spring. They'll be, they should be ready by summer and fall. Uh, I'm trying to think who else I missed. Was there anybody else we missed of those young guys? I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, oh, uh, uh, linebacker 25 did a great job. I mean, I thought he – I thought he caught – I thought he – Moved well. I thought he played well. I thought he uh, uh, made plays in space, which I was really anxious to see. And as I was sitting there thinking, he, he filled twice on a, on a run up inside. I mean, fitted up real nice, played in space, ran well, did that, did that. I mean, played like a player, you know what I'm saying? And then had some mistakes, but I was very pleased with the way he played uh, inside. And uh, who else? I'm trying to think. Any other freshmen? You guys, you guys usually know them off the top of your back. I'm trying to go through them all in my head off the top. Huh? I said, Lucas, who'd you say? Who? Jake didn't get scrimmage. Had a, had, we played really well, six scrimmages in and pulled a quad. Uh, he'll be back hopefully by the middle of this week, toward the end of this week, I think. He'll be back. It was Ish Harris I was talking about, linebacker. I mean, he, he, he really flashed at me and did some nice things. Got to get better at some things, of course, but I thought he flashed and really did some nice things. Just trying to think. I know you guys are all excited about those. I don't have that list in front of me. I should have brought it, but didn't have it. But. Uh, Okay, play. I mean, has you know plays three or four days, gets a little sore, and then comes back. But he's working his way back into playing shape. Made a couple of nice plays. And what we did. <laughs> Everything. This game is about pushing through. That, that's what you want. You want to make it hard. You want practice to be challenging. You want it to be tough. You want it to be demanding. This is what you find out. And, and listen, talent goes out the window. At the end of the day, it's how much you want and how hard you can compete. Look, look at the Final Four. Duke's been beat twice in the last five minutes of the game, so you know what? We ain't losing. And, and raised their level of play and just got down and competed, and their practice habits come straight out. North Carolina did it uh, two weeks ago, not the, against St. Peter's, but the game before. All those teams, uh, Kansas was down at halftime. I mean, you just watch the basketball, and you watch how guys push through and how those really good teams can, can elevate themselves. And they don't elevate themselves. They just focus themselves and play up to what their capabilities are and what their practice habits are, in my opinion. I, those guys just jump. I haven't seen as much basketball as I want, but those three games I saw happen to see those games. I mean, it would just impress me, not that they won, but how they won, how they refused to lose. And, and I think that's a credit to their culture and, and, and the coaching and the things they got. You know, 
Oh, yeah, we got plenty of depth. We got plenty of depth. Got to get guys to keep, keep going and, and make them plays. We got plenty of depth. There's plenty of guys out there who can make plays, can run and do it. Just need to do it with a consistent basis. No, we, we haven't been able to. I mean, we can't comment on, on, on anything going on with DeMond and, and, and where he's at. Scrimmage for the first time, I guess, with DJ Durkin. Are, are there any noticeable, I know you're trying to sound like y'all are trying to keep the scheme pretty similar there, but anything different that stands out to you between his, his defensive style? No, I mean, it's still in, in, in the four down scheme and what he does. and. You know, still play split safety, play single high. I mean, and I, again, when you really get into it, a lot with a lot of guys, there's there's a lot of similarities. There'll be some nuances that, and he's so in the infrastructure and in the infant stages of putting everything in. In that first scrimmage, you're not going to do a ton of things. You're going to do your base things and let the guys play fast. They've had seven practices in it, so from that standpoint, there'll be. I mean, there'll be some little things that he'll do a little different than Mike or whatever. But we know we haven't gotten to that point yet, and it's unfair to ask those kids to do it yet. So, but there's a lot of good things in the scheme. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it was. I mean, it, it goes back. And I've always said that he's been challenged, whether it was back when he was, they were at Florida. They've always done a good job and presented problems in a lot of different looks. And whether it was Ole Miss, Florida, and everywhere he's ever been, it, that's always been one of the guys you, you have to work at. And they have answers for your answers, and you have to answer their answers, and, you know, back and forth. So all that is a – was all into that hiring process of where they go. And, and, you know, that goes all the way back, not just that game, but games, you know, when he, they were at Florida, we were at Florida State. And they were always really good on defense. We're not allowed to comment on any on any in a, on any uh, recruit. So you trying to set me up on that one? No, we can't. I mean, you know, but it's 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 open time now, and that's what happened. I mean, there's going to be, you know, you hopefully you can get your guys to come visit as much as you can. But we're not allowed to talk about any individual recruits or anything of that nature. Had good weather. It's a beautiful day. That's for sure. That's first pretty. Well, the second pretty. Friday was good and Saturday was good. Picked it on the on those two days. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.